Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So, today's topic is about In this video, the topic is potential divider So, what is potential divider? It's simply just to say that a potential divider divides an input voltage into different voltages to produce a lower output voltage. Okay, this output voltage drives another part of the circuit. The output voltage across a portion of a potential divider is proportional to the resistance of that portion, meaning it's the ratio or fraction of it. Okay. We can obtain a variable output voltage by including a variable resistor. Another name for variable resistor is rheostat. This is potential divider circuit. Consists of two resistor, fixed resistor arranged in series. Okay, V in is the voltage or EMF of the power supply to the circuit. I is the current. So R1 and R2 is resistor. So how to find, how to determine, how to calculate the voltage output uh, on the resistor R2, which actually V out is used to drive another circuit. So how to calculate this one? We can calculate or determine the voltage output or the output voltage on resistor R2 using this formula. R2 divided by R1 plus R2 don't forget the bracket be careful if you use your calculator okay multiply by V in V in is the input voltage or EMF the power supply how to determine the output voltage by using this formula okay what I mean is how do we get this formula or equation from this simple circuit again you have to apply the knowledge or the previous formula V equal to IR so if we look closely the resistor of R1 in R2 is in series which other so I is the current V in is the V so you can find the total current or the current flow in the in the circuit if you redo the circuit so it should be like this Okay, the resistor, the effective resistance should be R1 plus R2. Okay, earlier it is in series. Now, the effective resistance is R1 plus R2. The current passing to R1 plus R2 is, is I is still the same because current in series is the same. So, we can use the formula V equal to IR. Where R is equal to the effective resistance of the circuit, which is RT, meaning our total or effective resistance is R1 plus R2. Then using V equal to IR, where V is the V in actually, the EMF, the EMF of the circuit, R is R1 plus R2. To determine the current I in the, in the circuit, I equal to V in over RT. So V in which is RT is R1 plus R2 therefore the potential difference across R2 is V which is V out equal to I multiplied by R2 so what is I? I is V in over R1 plus R2 you substitute I into this equation so we will get V in over R1 plus R2 multiplied by R2 so you rearrange the formula to spell lawa saja so we will get this one v out r2 plus, uh, divided by r1 plus r2 again if you use calculator please put uh, the bracket here okay multiply by v in okay to simplify it okay it's very easy actually jangan panic so if you ask to find v2 meaning output voltage on R2 resistor level R2 we can use this formula okay V out of V2 there okay R2 apa yang kena cari tu itu yang di atasnya tu okay R2 divided by the total resistance R2 plus R1 sana okay times V in the input voltage 
sometimes you are asked to find V1 or the voltage across resistor label R1 there. So again, yang di atasnya is R1 divided by the total resistor in series R1 plus R2 times the input voltage. So again, sebagi sanang kan, so apa yang kena suruh cari, for example here R2, so R2 yang di atas divided by the total resistance. Kalau kena suruh cari R1, R1 yang di atas divided by the resistance. The total resistance multiply by the input voltage. The input voltage usually the around here tu ah kalau dalam soalan is actually the EMF of the power supply. Okay, this is the examples of the 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 usage of potential divider. If you are asked to find the output voltage across R2 if the input voltage or EMF is 100 volt R1 equal to 10 ohm and R2 is 40 ohm you can use the formula uh, you can pause the video and use the formula to calculate what is the output voltage across the R2 resistor okay hopefully you get the same answer as me 80 volt Okay, how to get at the LT volt? Again, sesarankan. Okay, you should write down the main formula first because you are asked to find R2, not R1. So the formula V out R2 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by V in. So what is R2? R2 is 40 ohm. Okay, divided by R1 is 10 ohm plus 40 ohm multiplied by the input voltage is 100 volt. Okay. So you just masukkan saja data sana. So if you use your calculator correctly, you will get 80 volt. Okay, what if you are asked to find the output voltage across R1? Okay, we use the same data. V in is 100 volts. R1 is 10 ohm. R2 is 40 ohm. Okay, you can pause the video to do the calculation so the answer for second challenge okay if you use the same data if you are asked to find the output voltage across R1 so again you use the same formula V out equal to R1 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by V in if you put the data correctly use your calculator correctly you will get 20 volt Okay, from the earlier challenges, challenge 1, challenge 2, you can see that the output voltage is proportional to the resistance. What I mean is, the larger the resistance, the larger the output voltage. Again, if you handle with the ratio, it's actually, we just playing with the ratio here, playing with the numbers. Okay. Okay, it is the ratio. Apo R2 is 40 divided by 40 plus 10, okay, multiply by 100, okay, so it's 40 is to 10, that's in terms of ratio, whereas for R1, R1 as you can see is 10 is to 40, so 10 divided by 10 plus 40, okay, don't forget the bracket, multiply by 100. Okay, sejajar math sikit, uh, bagi yang lupa ratio itu, ini simple examples, we can relate to the potential divider, okay. If you have, for example, if you have 100 apples, 100 apple ini share among boys and girls in a ratio of 10 is to 40, okay. For boys, you get 10 divided by, how to get 20 apples itu, is 10 divided by the total the ratio ini 10 plus 40 multiply by 100 you will get 20 apples uh, for the girls which is a larger number in, in term of ratio fractionnya basar sikit so 
of course lah kalau fractionnya basar 40 so apple ni mesti basar so banyak maksud saya 40 divided by 40 plus 10 okay don't get the bracket multiply by 100 equal to 80 apples so again if you look at the number here 20 and 80 is which is equivalent to the the total or the sum of the apples there 100 so 80 plus 20 is 100 okay nampak uh, so potential divider is actually nothing new actually kamu faham is ratio sebenarnya okay so kalau kamu lihat balik semula nampak ding 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 it's very simple again physics is fun okay Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh